right. Well, welcome to Modern Playbook Roundtable. We have another exciting episode of Modern Playbook. But before we introduce those folks, uh, there we are sponsored by Key Collector Comics. Hey, enter the code FLIPSIDE and get a free two-week trial. And also uh, Wanted Comics. Uh, they have their own YouTube channel, own website, lots of cool exclusives. Check it out. I think we'll just, uh, this this time, I think someone asked uh, for us to go around and just introduce yourself. So um, I'm Steve from My Bargain Comics, and uh, Aaron uh, is recovering from a Puma bite, uh, funny enough, the same one that, that hit <laughs> Nico uh, a couple months ago. Um, so, so we wish him well. I, I think he'll be back next week, though. So who do we have below me? Oh, I'm Joe, uh, Red Hood Comic. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. It's your main man, Mercenot, coming at you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Tony from Blue Green Artifacts. Uh, check me out on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, this is Phil, Vintage Comics and Toys. Just uh, got finished uh, finished doing a show with Steve at a local Comic Con. So Phil, Phil sold. I bought. <laughs> yeah, for a dollar. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was uh, I was I was I was combing the dollar bins. All right. So we got four sets of books tonight. Uh, by the way, I know we heard some feedback. Um, on the YouTube channel as far as, hey, what's this? And basically we've broken out the the dealer flip side into its own show and uh, but we'll still have the the round ta round table show. So if you if you like both, watch both. If you just like one, just watch one. All right, here we go. First set of books is coming up. All right, so we've got, Point one, number one, CGC 9.6, the one in 100 variant, sold for $500 back on back about a month ago. And then a couple days ago, we had an amazing Fantasy 15, which is uh, the first appearance, CGC 9.6, first appearance of Amadeus Cho. Um, so, guys, who is your favorite? Champion, who wants to go first? Joe, I'll go. All right, yeah, I Joe, think, go ahead. I, go I ahead. think Amadeus Cho is he, he's going to explode. I, I think that, um, as you get more into the Asian aspect of the MCU, I mean, he they can't help but to 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 uh, bring this character in. His mom came out in what? Uh, uh, Avengers uh, Age of Ultron. That's I mean, right. it's just a matter of time. And uh, this book, I mean, this book in a 9-8, good luck. It's expensive. And if he pops out in one of these movies, uh, whether it's, um, I, I, I mean, if he's going to pop out in a movie, man, you would think Shang-Chi. I mean, but four or $5,000 for a 9-8? I mean, it's coming. If I had to pick a book, I, I would go with Amazing Fantasy. Final answer. All right, final answer. What are um, you thinking? Uh, I'll go next. Okay. As far as the scarcity... Of either one goes, I would have to. I, man, I would have to go with the. Uh, you can, you can, you can phone a friend. Being me and me, I can give you more information if you want. Okay, yeah, hit me. All right, all right. So, with point one, there were 113k units, according to Comicron. There's 45 9.8s and 29.6s. With the Amazing Fantasy 15, there's 196 9.8s, 228 9.6s, and 
there were only 13, uh, just under 14,000 units reported by Comicron. Matter of fact, it ranked 146 in the monthly Comicron rankings. Hmm. You know what? I'm going with the point one variant. I tell you what, if that if that Amazing Fantasy Volume Two, if that were a newsstand, I would pick the Amazing Fantasy. But I have yet to see that point one sketch cover anywhere. Like I've I've come across quite a few of the uh, the regular. I mean, rather the um, the color color version, but I've never come across a sketch variant. So I'm gonna go with the the point one um, and it, the point one nine six. Cool. Um, by the way, you mentioned uh, newsstand. There was a newsstand nine point six that sold in October of last year. Mm -hmm. Anyone anyone want to guess uh, how much it sold for? One hundred eighty. One hundred eighty. That's my guess. Uh, okay. <laughs> Any others? <laughs> Over. I'm going to say a grand. That was okay. A, that was an eon ago. What? 700. Okay. How about the correct answer is 2,500? <laughs> what? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 2,500. All right. So, um, Tony, All what's right. your, what's your, what are your thoughts? All right. Um, this is a this is a tough one. I don't I don't own either one. I wouldn't mind owning both of them. I am a big fan of obviously as the whole market is of, of chasing all the kind of this next gen hero that's that's coming up in the comics and eventually in the MCU. I don't know. I like uh, I'm I'm liking nine sixes in general a lot more than I did say six months or a year ago. Just from honestly, some of our conversations and, and just how the market's gone. So I don't mind either one of these being a nine, six. I like the one in 100, uh, on the, on the scarcity side of things. Um, I guess I'm going to have to kind of speak as a seller though. So I want to look at what I would be able to, if I was going to purchase at one of these prices, what I could, uh, which one I, I think that I could actually sell for a good profit and not have to wait too long. Um, I think both characters are inevitable to to hit the screen at some point. Uh, between the two, though, I I think Nova's going to be first. I think with She-Hulk coming up uh, in her own series, they're just going to – are they starting filming now maybe or getting close to it? Her show won't come out till next year. And I don't think they're going to start rolling out multiple Hulks for a while. Uh, it, it took a long time with one Spider-Man before we got a, a second Spidey character or, or a third Spidey character. Um, so I I feel like Amadeus is going to be held back a little bit. He might make his appearance in a non-Hulk form. Uh, but if we're getting Nova, I think that might be, you know, we've had different, different people take the mantle, but I think we might be getting Sam Alexander first um, when it hits the screen. So I think I'm going to go with that, the point one, number one, the 9.6 with, with Sam Alexander Nova, just for that reason. I love both of them. All right. Phil? Yeah, the Amazing Fantasy 15, Tony has a point. I mean, the Amadeus Cho has a huge, huge following. It's going to be an easier book to sell, but it's like – Okay, choose a book that's easier to sell or choose a book that has the highest ceiling. So, point one, the one in 100, I was really in on this at the very beginning when people were starting to buy this book for, for uh, first Sam Alexander. And this book was available. Like, there were some, there were always like maybe a few, maybe for the first several months. Um, when this book got on the radar, but with ceiling and the combination of James Gunn, I think he tweeted not too long ago. 
of like a rocket ship for the next teaser for who may be introduced in the Guardians of the Galaxy new movie. Uh, well, I think we all debated a little bit about it, but I was like, yeah, well, maybe that rocket ship meant Nova. So mm. just for spec, for spec alone, I think there's enough for people to drive point one. So I take the one in 100 sketch, but the amazing fantasy 15, a lot easier to sell safer play. It's going to go up no matter what, no matter what, even the nine, six. And I think it's a really hard book to get like a nine, eight in that book. But um, yeah, my final answer is point one, one to 100. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're definitely right that the nine, the nine eights are, are harder to get. I mean, yeah, the 9.6 is uh, on the CGC census um, by, uh, let me do, uh, 32 uh, copies um, uh, outnumber the 9.8s. Uh, and plus, let's see, if you put the, see, if you put the two together, you get about 400. So you, there's about almost like 300 that are not even 9.6. So yeah, it must, must be a, a tough book. I, I think I've come across one in, in my travels. Um, somehow I got my hands on some some of these point one variants, um, and uh, I, th I think for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the uh, the, the point one as well. Uh, my, my reasoning is uh, it's more straightforward that it's a Sam Alexander Nova appearance, where whereas um, with with Amadeus Cho, um, uh, like like one of your other guys said of. I'm tired, so I can't remember. But yeah, I could I could see him being introduced as a civilian first, and then, you know, only later, you know, become the Hulk. Um, so, you know, you, you also have that incredible Hercules issue, which is the origin, right? So, you have a couple key you got keys or minor keys around it. You know, okay, this is his first appearance as as a as just a person, not a not a hero, so to speak um superhero let's say so yeah with that reasoning i mean i th i think like like all of you said i think they'll both continue to to increase in value but um i'd, I'd go with point one that's my final answer so hey, we'll, we'll can I change my can i change my pick sure yeah that's fun <laughs> no i i was just um so <laughs> so, so what Sam do you think so Sam Alexander joins um, the Guardians of the Galaxy, right? In the comics, what was it, Black Vortex? So is that where the speculation's coming from, as far as Guardians of the Galaxy? Phil, I did not that read beats Black me. Vortex. You remember Black Vortex? Um, I, I do remember it. Yeah. Okay, so I think it was um, the second or third issue. Sam Alexander joins uh the guardians of the galaxy ah okay Very so cool. i don't but, know why i don't care about sam alexander at all but i still <laughs> like that point one yeah plus i think bradshaw did some some good artwork for that i mean even though nova isn't on it i don't think if i recall no. from a couple when we just discussed this matter of fact he's not even named in in, in the issue when you get into the guts that that's my biggest problem with and it's kind of obvious it's it's you know a younger nova but anyway all right let's go from uh marvel to i know my dc friends will appreciate this one so we've got uh a bronze copper batman villain just in a movie uh, this time last year, about, or we've got the the new thing, right? The, the 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 latest thing. Well, you know what? She's not really the latest thing because you know we've got Miracle Molly, you know, coming out. So, you know, I, I don't know. So, uh, so I broke the mold a little bit with this one. I forget. I forget if uh, if uh, Aaron or or. Uh, or Nico had done a, 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 a three before, but originally it's a, I, three, I, it's a three way dance. Yeah. Yeah. Three yeah. Way three way tango dance. time. Yeah. So, so yeah, we've got uh, all many eights across the board. Um, 
Man. What's going on here? I just barely learned how to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just can't keep things simple. I mean, you're breaking the rules here, man. I know, I know, I know. Aaron's never going to let me do this again. <laughs> uh, he, he, he might sick the puma on me, but uh, all right, Carter. What, what what are you thinking? Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I'm um, okay. Right off the bat. Okay. This is basically an F Mary kill. And I'm, <laughs> I'm killing. I'm straight up killing that uh, Batman 92 sketch, whatever that black and white. I'm getting rid of that. I don't care about that at all. You got to go. You got to go, baby. Um, so it's basically between Batman 386 and a year of the villain. Man, okay. I'm thinking it's harder to get a 9-8 on a copper book. So I'm 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 personally going with that's tough. This is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Uh I'm going with ooh, ooh. Oh shit. Never hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought I had this. Hold on. Um okay. Uh, it's tougher. Okay, it is tougher to get a 9-8 on a copper. So let's do Batman 386. Final answer? Yeah. Sure. All right, well, we've got some other folks to go through. Sure. So we, we, we can come back. I mean, you know, Joe changed his answer. So, you know. Tony, <laughs> what are you thinking? Uh, Yeah. Hey, before I jump into this one, I, we should have – chatted about this earlier but uh you know we've been talking about how to get uh viewers involved um if you're watching this in, in the in the chat or in the comments give us your own opinion please round one the previous two books round two we've got these three make your choice uh obviously we don't all agree uh you might have you might have some points that we don't even talk about here today so um just throwing that out there uh, for this one, three. I, I agree with you, Carter. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop off the Batman '92 right away. Not really. Uh, they're kind of they're okay, but they're, they're overdone in my mind. Uh, even if it's a little more scarce than the rest of them, I don't I don't really care. Um, I really hear what you're saying about nine eights on coppers being hard to get. I guarantee, if I had ten of those that I thought were mint, I would get like eight, nine, sixes and a couple of nine twos. I, I don't think I'd get one nine eight if I submitted any today, but black mask has been around for a long time. Punchline, not so much. Uh, I think right now the, the execs at DC are probably a lot more excited about punchline um, kind of being a, a, a whatever, a, a Harley 2.0 Kind of thing I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's talk of getting her on screen sooner than later i like that that book is not a, a flagship book hell arisen it was kind of a side title and people mm. weren't really aware of that first appearance until after foc um so it's held its value pretty well uh and if she becomes a thing i think that's clearly the book to get for her um, so I'm going to go Year of the Villain, Hell Arisen 3. Final answer. All right. All right, very nice. Yeah, um, so I'm looking at these three books. The 92, I'm like, okay, is that the... That's a variant of the variant, right? So I'm like, okay, uh, not special to me, so I'll cross that one out. Um, Batman 386 is pretty interesting to me because I actually bought in to Ian McGregor's performance on that Harley Quinn movie. I, I think I don't think he did that bad of a job. Sometimes you can fault the script a little bit, I think, in this case. Um Black Mask has has a big fan base. He's a major villain in, in Batman, the the universe, right? So yeah. that said uh, you know, I'm looking at these three three books, like three stocks, and like which one has the best chance to be GME, GameStop, and I'm going to say, you're the villain, Hell, 
Arisen 3. Um, you just got enough people to back up this pony. Um, I'd wager I'd wager on that book, that first uh, appearance of Punchline there. So um, I'd hope to hope that the book catches fire if I had to choose between the three. And that's my final answer. Well, I I remember when all the the hype for Batman three eighty six was, you know, at its height, and you know Obi Wan Kenobi couldn't nail it, you know. So, I uh, man, the hell arisen. There's so much upside with the punchline character because, you know, they can go animation, they could go live action. You've got toys. There's so much more potential than 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 the character Black Mask. I I think yeah, uh, if uh, you you've got an old nine eight and you know they're they're a copper copper stuff in a nine eight, but no, nah, I mean I just go hell arisen final answer. Okay. Yeah. So I um. I didn't. I didn't do my homework. So this edition of the third book um, was a last last minute uh, idea. Um, so originally, I just had the Batman ninety two and the Batman three eighty six. Um, I'm I'm gonna veer away from the Black Mask because you know with, with Tinian, um, he's expanded the Rogues Gallery so much. Like it hasn't been expanded since I don't know when. I mean, you know, I mean, even more more so definitely than the than this uh, Snyder run. I mean, yes, Snyder had the Court of Owls and Talon and Mister Bloom, um, but I mean, Tinian. It's like every issue there's a new character and new antagonist or anti-hero. So I I, I feel like yeah, uh, D, uh, DC Entertainment. Or Warner Brothers, I th I think is going to seize on the new stuff rather than go back to the old well. Now, initially, I thought maybe the Batman number ninety two because I read somewhere that Tinian said this was her first full appearance. But, um, uh, but I I, I checked uh, briefly, uh, real quick uh, a couple minutes ago. And apparently CGC labels Hella Resin as first full appearance, even though Tinian considers it a cameo. So um, so that kind of takes the wind out of the sails of Batman number 92. Uh, I, I don't know that I'd be buying any of these books. <laughs> um, but if, if you... If, if if you forced me, I, I think I'd take the the Hell of Risen number three. I, I I do remember it caught people off guard, but but when the when the CGC census, I mean, there, can you believe this? There's there's two thousand four hundred ninety nine nine point eight. I mean, that is a lot. That's so I think that's my hesitation of paying so so much for it so soon after after release. Um, so, and then the, the other, the other stats are, um, you may find interesting that the Batman 386, um, is tied for the 2021 low, uh, as, as far as the price, the 90 day average is actually $363 and the 12 month average is, is $325. So, um, man, how can CGC get away with saying, that this is the first appearance when the artist said, no, it's not. It's this, you know, it's like, right. I, how did they get away with that? I, I don't know that, that, that that's like a, a higher pay grade than, than me, Joe. <laughs> it's like, I'm 20, uh, I'm 27. No, you're not. You're 28. Okay. I'm, you know, right, right, right. <laughs> it's like, a, it's like I that, that book where Marvel puts first appearance on the, on the cover, but nobody, nobody agrees with it. Yeah. I don't know. It seems like they're the mafia now. No, you're not. You must be mistaken. You know? <laughs> if you think about yeah. it, Punchline, uh, like, what's the last Bat character that really 
uh, lit up the spec world. I mean, you'd, I'd probably say Batman Who Laughs. Right, right. Uh, which one of those characters, Punchline or Batman Who Laughs, has more of a long-term staying power on, I guess I'm going to say on screen, just because that's it's really what drives spec. I could see Batman Who Laughs showing up in a movie. Hopefully it would be a great movie. Um, but Punchline is is probably more of a character you, you might see in, in I think so. In more than once, you know. Right. Okay. You know, you get the cosplay aspect of it and mm -hmm. you know, girls like dressing up as different characters and they want to have fun at a con too, you know. So Although this time next year we might be going, you know, Miracle Molly, right? Like I started with. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Uh, I think that's all I have for the DC folks this week. I, uh, at least I, I put one up. All right. So let, let, let's move on uh, to the next one. This is going to be, let's see, did I have any cute name for it? No, I didn't. We'll just go to it. All right. Wow. Savage She She Hulk CGC 9.8 or Daredevil 9 9.8. It's uh so yeah. Old school, new school. Um Carter, what do you like? I've been saying this a lot when it comes to when it just comes to a lot of books in general. Um I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around books being uh, ex as expensive as they are. And whew, it, like that She-Hulk, that's the type of book that's, that I've seen everywhere throughout the years. And it's just been unloved. It's like, a, it's like an ugly stray animal. You know what I mean? It's just kind of... <laughs> Uh, it just, it just, no one's ever really embraced it until now. And it's freaking me out. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. Um, with that being said, uh, the Daredevil number nine, like that one, that one has been percolating for a while. People have been anticipating something by way of echo on the small or the big screen. Uh, Carter, do you, you want some more information? Sure, hit okay. me. Hit me. Here, here's some some information. There are two thousand three hundred thirty seven CGC nine point eights of She Hulk one. There are two hundred thirty three CGC nine point eights of Daredevil nine. So you've got about ten percent of the uh, population, but uh, between the two. Uh, Daredevil nine compared to She Hulk. Okay, so for the price, I'm going with neither because I'm not spending a grand <laughs> on either of those. Damn that! I have those kicking around in the uh, long boxes, loosey goosey, and I'm fine with that. I'm mm -hmm. more than happy with that. Now, if I were buying for somebody, ah crap! I okay. <laughs> I, I'm buying for somebody, not for me. I'm buying for somebody, and somebody somebody's paying me to buy for them. And if I were advising them, I would say, "Crap, <laughs> I don't know." Uh, now I, I, I might give. The, I'm thinking I would give the slight edge to She Hulk just because she seems like more of a household name. I can't. I don't see Echo being a household name you know what i'm saying like people yeah. i think people will know she, they'll know who she hulk is like they'll know who she hulk is without knowing who she is you know what right. i'm saying right and so i'm gonna give the slight edge to she hulk number one slight edge all right tony what are you thinking all right Mr. Blue Green Artifacts. Yes, yes. Um, I. They're both good books. I, 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 I fully agree. I mean, I, I've passed over, you know, near mint copies of She-Hulk number one at cons for 35 bucks. Just 
because there was other things that I'd rather buy. Both have projects that are being worked on as we speak. Both have had casting. Both are hitting Disney+. Plus. Obviously, Daredevil 9 has just not been around enough, long as long as a spec book. I think that's why we're seeing the census numbers uh, being so different. Nobody cared about that book until right. a year ago. Uh, there's probably 800 of them just sitting in boxes in a CGC warehouse right now waiting to be graded. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Shulky. Uh, I, I used to bartend with a girl who had a giant head of hair, just like her. And that was, that was our name for her, Shulky. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Shulky because I, I think she's going to, I think once that show hits the screen, I think she's going to. Um, connect with audiences, if that makes sense. I, I think she's going to be very much a household name uh, if, if for, for people who, who she isn't yet. Uh, I like that it's going to be kind of a lawyer show and getting into a, another genre that Marvel hasn't done yet. Um, I, I have high hopes for Echo, but I, I think She-Hulk's going to be a little bit bigger uh and again i know there's a lot of nine eights out there but if i sent some in now i'm not getting a 9.8 so um i think i'm gonna yeah i'll go with savage she helped number one cool what you got phil um so i think that she hope one cgc nine eight um whoever won that got a bargain i think that book's like buy it now 1300 to 1500 i think because i have been looking for this book um before that big surge of the uh stimulus checks this book was about like 650 700 i think you know, you, yeah. you know your numbers i mean you I, really, I shop every day every you day you really do because listen to this um so this book's been on a tear. Um, the, the the 12 month average is $710. Um, and the 90 day average is a few bucks about above this price. But the last 13 sales between April 6th and April 18th have climbed, um, reaching $1,700 uh, on uh, April 16th. So, yeah, man, you know your stuff. Wow, seventeen. Did we I didn't know doubt? seventeen, but okay. So the Daredevil nine, okay, Echo. So it's got competing books, right? So some people have ten. Could be mm -hmm. her first. I mean, I mean, this one is way off to. Uh, I mean, this is way ahead. Daredevil nine. Um. I also think about the um, future spec of this character. She takes on the mantle of Ronin, which is kind of cool, I think. So we get Ronin plus, you know, the daughter of Hawkeye, right? Um, right. She's going to take on the mantle of her father. Who knows what teams are going to be on, whatever, right? But, ah, uh, man, I... I mean, I just, I just love the the look of Echo, and if they do it right, and um, they play to the, you know, they play to the the fans and to the people who are Native American. Um, this, I mean, this could be a, a a a very desirable book, and the Daredevil Nine has a lot of binary tears, a lot of issues, and that. You see on that cover, it's a fold out. So there's also issues with a lot of those books too. It's a ba it's a beautiful. I think it's a it's a Mac cover, right? So yep. yeah, um, man, it's tough. It's tough. But She Hulk, she also plays through a lot of fans as well too. You know, she was kind of the, the icon of the '80s with the. Uh, 80s gym you know headband and the you know <laughs> the cheesy yeah. workout at uh neon you know the the one suitors whatever but uh ooh, really really tough um 
I'd have to go with She-Hulk 1 just because I has the potential of easily hitting that $2,500 mark by, yeah, not too, from not too long from now, I think. So final answer, She-Hulk 1. All right. Joe, you, you gonna you gonna make it uh unanimous or well actually I haven't voted yet, so yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I you know, I'm I'm with the other guy. I mean, I I think it's yeah, there's two thousand copies, but how many comic book collectors are there? You you know what I'm saying? So we, we make two thousand CGC nine eight sound like a lot. How many subscribers are there to a key collector app? 10,000? 50,000? Right? I mean, we'll have to ask our friend Nick. Maybe he'll tell us. <laughs> you, know I'm you know, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. I mean, and this show is right on the, you know, we're, we're how many months away from a She Hulk show? I mean, it's just going to start growing and growing and then when that first trailer drops people are going to want this book and i don't think phil is way off i think it's going to be twenty five hundred three thousand dollar book nine eight because people are buying up other things right now and that thing is at a grand i mean yeah there's a there's a lot of potential for echo but uh there's not an echo show like in six months so you know that 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 that's where I'm coming from, and the book is what 1980, the yeah. Shield. Yeah, 1980. I mean, I mean, it's still it's iconic cover too. I mean, it, it's man, I gotta go with She Hulk. I gotta go with She Hulk. Final answer. All right, um, I th I think I'm gonna make it unanimous here. <laughs> I I I, I might have uh, let that loose a, a couple minutes ago. <laughs> um, you know, uh, you know, this is a this is a case where, you know, I I, I know I said uh, on one of our previous ones that I'd want either of them. This is one where I kind of want both of them. I'm I'm kind of curious to see uh, where they go. I mean, I, yeah, I think Savage She Hulk's a no brainer. I, I think people get some nostalgia too. Uh, you know, who maybe are just a little bit older than me. You know, and you know as kid i think i saw the reruns you know the 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 david banner hulk tv show right and, and i also think you know we probably see she hulk become a member of the avengers um and we might have that happen with echo too right um because i, I remember the the first time this book popped a couple years ago everyone you know when there were initial rumblings about ronin and the avengers you know this book got some initial interest but this is a case where I'd want both. Where I'd actually want both of them. If someone handed me uh, two thousand dollars, I'd go, "Okay, I'll take one of each." Um, yes, but but yes, I think She Hulk uh, gets the edge despite all the the nine point eights. Um, yeah, this is going to uh, go into the public consciousness, and and I think we can see the path to the Avengers. Not quite sure what they're doing doing with Echo yet. I, th I think what she's supposed to show up in Hawkeye, and then I don't know if the sh her own show's been confirmed uh, yet, or if that's the rumor. So anyway, Savage She Hulk uh, number one. Um, yeah, that final answer. So we got a unanimous one. So uh, for our finale, uh, this I'm going to call this one. Is the truth in the past or in the future? And here we go. So we have Captain America, Sam Wilson, number three, first Joaquin Torres, or Truth, number one, the first Isaiah Bradley, with the Captain America, or uh, sorry, the, the Falcon and Winter Soldier, and the Captain America and the Winter Soldier just wrapping up. You know what we normally expect would be for both of these books to take a bit of a breather, um, and uh, you know I think a lot of people were expecting Joaquin Torres to become the Falcon in the show. It didn't happen. We, you know, we definitely saw him, 
Uh, there may be some hints. Uh, and then we, we got a lot of Isaiah Bradley, but um, if rumors are to be believed that uh, we, we may see more of him, uh, you know, maybe in the, maybe in a, in the past. So um, we'll go in reverse order this time. I don't want to put it all on, on Carter. I'm going first. Uh, Joe, <laughs> Red Hood comic, what, what say you? Well, I, I think, um, you know, they announced Cap 4. And uh, you know they gave him they gave him the the falcon the falcon wings the outfit and all that. I I think he uh, a lot of people uh, a lot of fans when he first popped out uh, a lot of fans seemed to respond to him and you know I think there's more upside now. You could do flashback scenes in Cap Four where Isaiah Bradley's in there as a younger uh, character and they bring in. Uh, Chris Evans to do some flashback stuff. Um, you know, I, I think both books could be, uh, I mean, I mean, look at that. They sold for basically the same thing. Uh, but I, I think there's more upside with Joaquin Torres. I don't think they're, uh, if I was going to, if you told me to pick, I, I'm, I'm going to pick uh, Joaquin Torres, but I wouldn't pay 400 bucks for a nine, eight. In a way, um, hmm. I paid two for a nine eight. I wouldn't pay four. I think that has a lot to do with uh, the show. And when, when did that sell on the twenty first? With yeah, the twenty first. Yeah. So somebody probably thought he was going to be flying around uh, on your left, Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know. Uh, so uh, I'll more information um so there, there's only two of these that have sold this year but part of the reason for that is there's only seven 9.8 of, of the sam wilson number three um so this one and another one earlier in the month uh sold for 455 um truth number one there's there's 84 9.8s uh the 90 day average with 15 sales has been 475 one one truth number one even hit nine hundred dollars on April second a nine eight, um, but since that sale, it's been trending down to. This is actually the most recent sale as of um, yesterday uh, was four oh five. Phil, vintage. All right, comics and toys. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Um... Okay, so for Joaquin Torres, right? I mean, I felt like we didn't get a lot of him. Like, a good, I didn't get a really good feel for him um, during the Falcon Winter Soldier series. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's kind of a nerd, but yeah, I mean, he's a now type of character, right? Um, but I, I just didn't, and plus, we didn't even get the uh, the teaser of what he looks like as the falcon and falcon when he first got introduced i mean that first appearance it didn't pop until like until the series that just showed up right, right. on disney plus like that had an uphill battle like when he first was announced to appear like yeah you know it popped but it just never like very fine it's like cgc 80s i don't think they even hit over a thousand dollars you know which is insane and I, I looked at one today at a show it was a seven uh it was a seven five raw and we looked at it and was like well what cgc seven five is like 1200 bucks but that said um yeah this character is gonna have to prove some stuff um versus truth red white and black one I mean, how can you not be so emotionally attached to this character and what he's been through? Um, you know, what he's experienced, um, you know, putting on that uniform, you know, being a colored person. That's like, I mean, that was a lot. I mean, that was a lot that he had to bear. Um, and I would love to see a flashback. Um, of him and his brothers getting 
the serum and then he has to rescue them from the platoon like the uh like in the in prison overseas like i really really want to see that series and um you know it was just like i mean for that show like i didn't think that falcon i didn't know why he i don't think anyone really knew why he didn't want to take the shield and then we found out right. wrapping up the story with isaiah bradley that yeah it was because he was black he didn't feel like it didn't feel right to him. He didn't feel like he could do his people right, you know, being Captain America um, and our people here in America. So I, uh, I mean, I think it's, it's just, it's going to happen with Isaiah Bradley. He's going to show up and it could be as soon as Loki, you know, as he time travels, you know, oh, interesting. there's a, there's a battle with winter soldier that I think People are going to want to see that. You know what I mean? So, um, long spec, better cover. I go with uh, Truth, Red, White, and Black, number one. Final answer. All right. Man, I want to see that now, too, Phil. <laughs> Man, you should be a writer, dude. <laughs> Let's get Kevin Feige on one of these. Let's get his opinion. So Tony, what, do you, what think? are you thinking? Yeah. All right. Um, so full disclosure, I really Joaquin Torres was not on my radar. I that was not a book. I, I don't claim to know everything about everything. I have a lot of blind spots. Um, I, I, I spec on what I know about. And I wasn't familiar with that storyline or that character really until the show popped up. Uh so it kind of that's it's kind of a new one for me. Um, having having watched the completion of that show though, and and seeing what else they're doing with all the other young characters. Uh, in the in the comics, this isn't necessarily a young Avenger character, but it sure looks like he will be on screen. Uh, I mean, they're priming up his character at the same time that they're working on, you know, these others introducing uh, Eli as Patriot, uh, not as Patriot yet, but introducing him. And we have Kate Bishop coming up and we know, uh, you know, we know of a lot of other characters coming up. Um, so I'm, I'm much higher on this character. I, I actually think, you know, for, for one of those type characters, a young Avenger level 400 for a 9.8, it's actually, if we if we could get a America Chavez for that, we'd be we'd be all about it. So, um, I like that book. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a one in twenty five of that though. That if I was gonna blow some bigger money on that book, I would probably jump to the one in twenty five. Um, at least first, for this main cover A, I'd I'd probably go out and try to find a bunch of high grade copies for you know uh reasonable money and and maybe submit them myself um so Tony, what does that one in 25 look like that cover um i actually pulled it up on the side it's a. Uh, it is i don't know who the artist is it's a steve it really cover. nice it's a it's like a double cover of of sam wilson as in the captain america uh falcon costume it's a nice oh. cover cool I was just curious. Yeah, Epting, Steve Epting, I guess, does yep. the cover. And they're, I mean, they're selling raw for over 100. Most of the listings now are two, three, even 400. So um, <laughs> I hate this phrase when I'm watching videos. But that being said, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm a little bit uh, invested emotionally. And You're financial. way emotionally invested, Tony. Yes. Yes. No, I. Uh, I love what they did with that character. I think it's if they don't do a, a flashback like a Band of Brothers type uh, series on that, it's a huge mistake. Uh, I mean, they can get into his son, who you know we've talked about on one of the other shows. Um, I forget his name. What is? Uh, Josiah X, is it? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, mm -hmm. I think it, you know, for as much time as was invested in that character, I think it's, it's, it's a gimme. I like the fact that there's no, uh, that there's no variant to that one. Um, mm -hmm. There is, which I just got in the mail here, a little, the Marvel must have version. Love right? that. Yep. Um, but otherwise, and I'm not even sure if there's a newsstand. We've been trying to figure out if there, because the of the regular cover, uh, the little, it would be on the back. So a lot of people, you know, they don't even take them out of the bag when they buy them. Right. Um, but it there should be a newsstand based on when it came out. Um, I just really like that book. I, I don't think it's an easy nine point eight. I think there's there's quite a few of them out there. Um, I, I think all these guys are going to get it. There's going to Joaquin is going to be in the Captain America four movie. I think there's going to be a, a a truth series. I think there's going to be a second season of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So I think all of these storylines are going to get more screen time. Um, I, I think the truth series is going to be. For, for me, it's going to be a more important story. Uh, and I just like that book better. Um, so I'm going to go with the uh, with the 9.8, especially for that price. I think they're already pushing six 700 So long story short, truth, red, white, and black. All right. Mr. Marcinot. All right. Throughout the Throughout last summer, I was especially high on uh, Captain America, well, Sam Wilson, Captain America number three, but I was only high on the one in 25 variant. I was able to find two copies of that over the summer, and I, I had a feeling that, that it would take off, but I had no clue that the regular cover would do anything that that one i can't lie that that one kind of threw me for a loop but <laughs> um as far as uh, if that were say the if that were the steve epting cover uh i would be all over that for 400 you know what i'm saying but i don't know what it is i'm not a fan of that cover at all i don't like it if uh, hell, if that were even number five uh, in a nine eight, just because of that black cover is so, just because black covers are so tough. You're you're reading my eight. mind. You're reading right. my mind. Mm hmm. So uh, that one, and, and even truth, that's a book that throughout last summer, when I was going digging through dollar bins. I would see, I would see a copy, just, you know what I mean. I just kind of pluck it out. It got to the point where, like, even at a dollar, I'm just like, Ugh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done because <laughs> I because I, I ran into so many. So again, I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around this book being so expensive. Uh man, I, I guess. I would give the edge to, okay, we'll say that. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I envision Captain America 4, that, that upcoming movie, uh, having flashbacks of Isaiah Bradley a la Godfather 2. That's how, oh. that's how I envision, that's how I envision the truth story. I like that out. idea. I could just be, I could be totally wrong on this. So, you know, that's just how I envision it. And it would be very interesting if uh, that were the case. That being said, uh, ugh. this one, actually, this one's tough. I'd like that truth in a nine, eight, just because. I, just because I only run into those in dollar bins and, you know, in dollar bins are notorious for um, causing defects on books. Right. And, and I was especially excited to see that the uh, Sam Wilson three was doing something just because man, I would say, and it's funny that both of these books are still in play after the show, after that show is over, just because of the 
just because of the movie announcement. But uh, well, this was uh, both of these were. Let's see, one was it, on Wednesday. Or, yeah, yeah, the twenty first. Yeah, so yeah, but uh, but they're they're both still pretty relevant. Still, yeah, still even even now. Um, hmm. I would get honestly. I like. I think I like Truth better just because there is that one in twenty five for uh, Sam Wilson three, and you have the, and then you have number five, which is a nicer cover, and you have the second print of yep. number five. You know what I'm saying? So, yep. man, I I like Truth better. I like Truth. All right. Yeah. I, I I agree with all of you. I think we've got another unanimous one. I I, I like Truth better. Um, I think it's become an iconic book. I think there's uh, like all of you. I love you know, all the ideas of, about you know how we'll 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 see him again. You know I can't ever see the. I I, you know, I think he's put such an imprint on the M MCU. I, I can see this going into a lull. You know even after more story is told but i i can't ever see this being like uh less than a hundred dollar 9.8 like you know some books just go into a lull and then just a total free fall but um i think this is a book that that people hey, hey, want steve to, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off but no I, okay there is a truth 9.8 that just sold today okay for 600 wow Wow. So well, that's just some yeah. renewed faith, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and like you, Carter, I, I I do not like this this cover. Mm. Uh I much prefer the the number five. Um I like that second know, print even better. Right. And I, I'm not sure I can't remember if when I when I did this, what maybe I had a problem finding a number five nine point eight that sold or uh, maybe it wasn't in the same price range, so it was hard to judge. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not. E even though uh, I, I made the sausage, I forget how the sausage was made. Um, but yeah, th th this is a, uh, this is an awful cover. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I had I, I had this book in the thumbnail, uh, Sam Wilson three in the thumbnail of one of my videos, one of my haul videos. And I'm like, ugh, I don't like it. So I just, I, I had to switch out. I had to switch it out with another book. Here's the other thing: with so many young characters coming, whether they're champions or young Avengers, I think there's the possibility of 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 them of, of at least one or more getting lost in the mix. And you know, may, and maybe that's you know Falcon. I mean, uh, and Joaquin Torres. He just doesn't. As as far as comic folks, I don't think we speak about him you know the same way we do sam alexander or america chavez or riri or miles or uh kate bishop you know so um but is that is that a mistake mm -hmm. maybe yeah we should be, you know yeah i mean maybe captain america 4 comes out and we all fall in love with them and then then you know comes the issue like we've been talking about you know do do we fall in love with three number three or, or and do we fall in love with the number three variant? Do we fall in love with number five, the first print, or the second print? So uh, it'll be interesting. Um, we'll, we'll have to come back. This is one I'd, I'd definitely like to come back to, uh, you know, maybe in two years or, or three years and, and see see what's going on. Hey, do you think there's a director's cut? Do you think they cut out some scenes with, uh, with the Joaquin Torres character? I mean, it just seems like... Yeah, he came out in the first episode. You didn't see him until like what the fourth, and you <laughs> said, uh, "Hey, what's up, man?" And then you don't see him again, and then you see him, hey, keep the wings, keep the change, and and then you don't see him again. It's almost like it felt like there was a lot of edits, you know. That's a great point. Yeah, maybe and, they're, they were like, "Oh, yeah, let's hold off until Captain America 4. That's a great. I never, never thought about that. It, it sounds like from you know, a lot of the reshoots that they did for it had to do with cutting out that they had a pandemic storyline, 
and then they had to revamp it so that it was mm. more resettlement than pandemic just to avoid that topic so it's very possible maybe he might have had some scenes with you know the vaccines that they were supposed to be you know dealing with in the show that they just cut out completely you might be right cool well uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, hopefully, uh, Aaron's recovered from his Puma bite, and we will <laughs> see you then. Thanks.